But in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up an online uh, an item that can go on, on your online auction. So what you do is you'll be presented with your dashboard. You're going to come here. You're going to go uh, all products. Now this is going to be where you'll be able to see all your products. Uh, remember, even though it's an auction, they're still classed as products uh, and items. So that's why it's uh, called products. Unfortunately, the internet is a little bit slow today, so you'll have to forgive us for the uh, delay. So these are the dummy ones that we loaded for you uh, to give you an idea of how it's going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go to categories. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type in art. Okay, we're going to uh, just leave it as is and we're going to hit add new category. Okay, so now there is our art category. Now, what we're going to do is, is that we got a, an artist. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to call this one Cecile, like that. That's the artist's name. Then we're going to choose the parent category to go to art. And then we're going to hit add. And then what you'll see is here, you see there this person has arrived here. And it has got a line, which means it is a subcategory under art. So now we've already set up that category, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to come and go add new. We'll just wait for the page to load. Okay, so now this is where your product is going to be. Sorry, this is how you're going to upload your product. So first things first, we've got the name. So with the name on the information sent is Mr. R. .R Bruno. So then what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this, you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it down here, and paste it there with the dash in saying Roven, Roven, sorry, auctioneers, just like that. Okay, this section here is for Google, and that is your key phrase for Google. So that's why you've got to do it like that. Okay, once you've done that, you can ignore this description box here. We're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom, and we're going to add your description in. So now we get the artist, we're literally going to put artist, comma, like this, then we're going to put uh, the description, colon, abstract 115, forward slash 150, and then we've got medium, and we've got wood cut, and then the size of it is 100 by 150. <coughs> oh, please excuse me for that. So now what I've done is I've written it in text, and now we've got visual. So now, now you've got these little toggle buttons here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight this and make it bold, just like that. Okay, so we've put the dimensions in. We've put the uh, the artist, the description, the medium, and uh, uh, and the size in. Now we've done that. Now what I'm going to suggest is, is what we're going to come up to the top here, and we're going to first put it under the artist name. Okay, then we're going to take the the title again, and we're going to add it as a uh, as a product tag, and then we're also going to add Rovin Auctioneers, and hit enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go upload our image. So now I'm going to just upload the image quickly. So we're going to go upload files, select files, and then we're going to go downloads, and there it is there. So we'll just upload this one here. We'll wait for it to upload, and then we're going to go set product image. That you let it load like that. Then we're going to hit publish then the system is going to publish this item. But we've literally just configured the, the general information. Now what we're going to do is go and set up the auction. So what we're going to do is we'll let it load, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to come down to our, our product data. This is where we're going to set up our auction. And we're going to select simple product and change it to auction. And as you can see here, now we've got all of these different um, items, uh, sorry, sections that we can use. So is it new or used? I'm setting this one as new. 
auction type is normal. Starting price, let's say we let's start it at, for example, 1500 Rand. The bidding increment, we want to go up by 200. Okay, the reserve price, I'm going to make it 5,000. And the buy now function, we're going to make it 10,000. So that's all you want to do there. Then if we want an auction date, so now let's say it's starting now, okay? And then the, the deadline, well, sorry, when it cuts off is going to be, let's make it Monday, right? And the time will make it three o'clock on the dot. Let's just leave that like that. And then we're going to go done. So now it's going to be, at the moment we publish, uh, up, sorry, update the product, it's going to be live, the auction, and then we go, and then it will end automatically on uh, uh, on the 14th at three o'clock. Then we, what we've got is to activate the anti-snipering function, we're going to extend bid by here. Now this works in seconds. So if someone snipers within the minute, the last minute, so let's say 30 seconds, so someone snipers in the last 30 seconds, right, we are going to extend the bid for an extra two minutes to give the people time to bid again, right, if you want to increase that, remember it's in seconds, so then you'd have to go how many seconds in uh, five minutes, however many you want to do it. All right, but that is how. So if anyone if anyone bids within the last thirty seconds, the system will automatically add another two uh, two minutes on. Again, if they bid within the last thirty seconds of that two minutes, right, then the the, uh, uh, the system will automatically add two minutes on it's to stop the sniper in. So maybe what we can do is let's say the last fifteen seconds, okay, and then it will extend. All right, that's our. Um, uh, auction setup, what we're going to do is we're going to now come and hit update. Once it's reloaded, the page always refreshes. That's how you know it's successfully been uh, updated. And also it says it here. We're now going to view the item. So as you can see, the starting bid is that, right? There's the description that we put on. The item uh, condition is new. How many days left? The reserve price has not been met. So now that means the reserve price hasn't been met yet. But if I take that to, let's say, 6,000, right, and go bid. We'll just let the system. There we go. Successfully placed a bid for this one. And then it says, now the reserve price has been met. Okay, and as you can see, once I placed the bid, it jumped in the increment already 200. All right. What might be a nice feature, all right, is if we know, we scroll down here, and we say the reserve is 5,000, right? So what we'll do is we can actually put here, let's put it down the bottom here, and we go reserve price, 5,000. So people can see what the reserve price is. Unfortunately, the system doesn't show you automatically. So you'd have to add that part in manually. So once it's loaded, there we go, we'll just reload the page. And there we go, we can put the reserve price, it shows the reserve price now. So if we scroll down, let's actually just make that bold. Just like that. And we update it. Just let it, there we go, it's bold, just like that. All right. If I want to add this to my watch list, um, let's say, for example, I can't, I can't, uh, I've made my bid now, I need to go uh, fetch the kids, for example, right? I can add this to my watch list, then when I come back, I'll be able to literally just click on favorites at the top here, and then the, um, and then uh, it will show me if I've, if I'm still winning the bid, or if I'm out, or if someone's outbidded me. For it, if we scroll down here, we've got the auction started under auction history, right? We've got the date, and as you can see, Darren placed a bid of 6,000. All right, or if I wanted to buy now, I can just buy now. All right, but that is how you would add a item to your, to your um, auction.